एम एस धोनी केम एज एन एनिग्मा ही गोज एज एन एनिग्मा आई हैव अ कपल ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग एनिकडोज टू से अबाउट द मैन नो आई डिड नॉट स्पॉट हिम वेन ही हैड ही वॉज अ यंग बॉय विथ लॉन्ग हेयर बिकॉज अ लॉट ऑफ दो स्टोरीज आर सर्क्यूलेटिंग इन द मीडिया एंड ऑन सोशल मीडिया यूज टू डू अ कपल ऑफ क्रिकेट शोज विथ सम बिग गन्स एंड आई रिमेंबर एट द टाइम वेन ही हैडेंट मेड द कट येट एंड आई वॉज डूइंग अ क्रिकेट शो फॉर सारा समय विथ अशोक मल्होत्रा एंड Ashok ji said that there is this and he said it on air at that point in time he was looking out for a young talent that there is this guy from rachi who has long hair and his name is ms dhoni uh, he has an interesting background and he has quite an amazing uh, ability uh, so i basically asked him on air that what did you see in him he said he's quite audacious he's fearless he has a lot of punch and aggression as a batsman and as a wicket keeper while he may not be entirely there but he is quite effective and he could be an excellent india prospect as a wicket keeper batsman it took a while for dhoni to get in and uh, ashok malhotra since he is uh, basically based in kolkata and uh, uh, has deep roots in west bengal cricket so he had an ear uh, to sort of ganguly and apparently they had a chat to that effect and after some time uh, dhoni did come into play and uh, the rest is history so i don't want to go into some of what the great things he did it would be interesting to know that what is about the man that really made him stand out not only as a legend as he goes now uh, with three icc titles which gautam gambhir says no indian captain will ever be able to match and those three titles are basically the world cup 2011 in the odis the t20 world cup in south africa and then the champions league trophy a remarkable achievement for a man who uh, came from the hinterland and uh, who never had any big gun backing him or all the other frills that came um, he didn't belong to the bombay club obviously so let's talk about dhoni one of the things uh, and these are random thoughts one of the things that is being said about him is that when he came in the team was packed with seniors legendary players and they slowly they were at the fag end of their career so they gradually exited some of the biggest names of of indian cricket um it is said about dhoni that when he became the skipper and these guys began exiting not everything happened very gracefully now that's a word which is uh, rare in indian cricket and uh, you often see guys who've had terrific careers going not in a blaze of glory they go under circumstances which they themselves talk about much later that uh, it could have been handled better they could have been given a game all that could have should have business goes on lakshman for one sehwag the way he went um lakshman in fact there was this story about him that he kept calling him kept calling dhoni to inform him about his retirement but dhoni didn't take his call that that retirement was made but later lakshman in his own book and we had done a a chat on on his book with murli kartik at the ekam response late fest later that he said there was a bit of a misunderstanding gautam gambhir has been very very vocal about the fact that it is dhoni who stole the glory uh, in the 2011 world cup he still regrets to the day that he should have got 100 let's admit that uh, and we many of us saw the match live that gautam gambhir under tough circumstances as an opening bat did a terrific job uh, scoring those many runs Yes, he failed to get a hundred, and uh, that last ball six of Dhoni completely transformed Dhoni's brand, his image, and everything else, and uh, entire India erupted. Gautam Gambhir resents that he feels that it should not have happened in that particular way. Gautam Gambhir made a point about Dhoni when the biopic Dhoni came out. He said that such films should not be made when the player is still playing. It should be done only uh, when the person has retired because this is not right and. it sends certain wrong signals for other players and this is not typically done he may have a point and um that does not take away from the fact that the movie dhoni was a big hit and it was played by none other than sushant singh rajput another very interesting part about dhoni was it was very noticeable we we've done chats in in the studio on this point that after him the domination of the bombay club and Uh, from karnataka from people coming from the larger towns got somewhat eroded 
He encouraged young talent who were coming in from the smaller towns to come and play. He encouraged them to play fearlessly. He backed them, which was such a major thing, and they all loved him. They loved him as their mentor. They loved him as their elder brother. They called him Mahi Bhai. And many of the spinners, uh, the so-called uh, bits and pieces player, they uh, performed brilliantly under his wing. He encouraged them. There were so many instances we've seen as the wicketkeeper. He is sending an instruction uh, to a spinner to bowl in a particular area and bingo, the guy gets a wicket. So there was a lot of planning involved. There was a lot of encouragement and that is where his leadership skills came into play. He probably liked the fact that these were the young boys who came in uh, from nowhere and who many of whom got established and he truly backed them he knew how to back them and that was one of his greatest qualities his ability to take risks um, Joginder Singh remember the guy who's who's now a senior cop in Haryana he, remember the guy who bowled the last over in the T20 World Cup in South Africa and uh, against Pakistan and Joginder himself said later during a discussion he told us that uh, the decision was, uh, was of Dhoni, but he came to me and he said that you uh, don't worry about how many runs Pakistan needs to win. You concentrate on your bowling. You, if you get hit, worry about the next delivery. Think about the next delivery. Don't worry about any other shortcomings. And if India still loses, I'll take the rap. You don't have to worry. Coming from a skipper in such a, a big moment is, is a huge uh, task it's a huge uh, support which joginder singh got and of course joginder did say that he had the ability to bowl those skidders and that was one of the reasons why dhoni picked him but picking the right man at the right moment and backing the player who's not really a frontline bowler was a was a was a massive move was an audacious move and it brilliantly paid off joginder remembers that not only today he'll he'll remember that for the rest of his life and tell his grandkids someday the finisher, Dhoni as the finisher, again, there has been a lot of discussion on it. We have seen that how he would wait and wait and wait and kill it at the last moment. There was a man called Michael Bevan earlier of Australia who uh, had a similar ability. He was the chaser. He would come in late uh, in the batting order and he had the ability to chase down totals. He ran singles frenetically, something like Dhoni also did, one of the fastest runners on the field. And so there is a similarity. He became famous for taking risks, for being the finisher, for backing the kids and for creating a new team. Was everyone happy with Dhoni? His closeness to N. Srinivasan, former BCCI president and MD of India Cements, who has his team Chennai Super Kings, has been talked about a lot. Uh, it, it has also been, his critics have, have openly said that uh, as BCCI head, Dhoni got back too much by N. Srinivasan, Srinivasan himself has given an interview recently that at one point in time after the 2011 World Cup there was a move to replace Dhoni as a skipper but he blocked it. Um, Sachin Tendulkar wrote uh, in, a, in his column um, and he basically on Dhoni saying that this, remember this it's an interesting line he said then when Dhoni came in he would never approach the seniors to say hello and that was seen as being rude. Now whether he did it out of rudeness or whether he was shy or wanted to be in his own shell or bubble is another matter. But Sachin Tendulkar pointed that out. Gavaskar was more forthright that after our loss in the 2019 World Cup, uh, after that Dhoni decided not to play. He, he, was, he made himself unavailable for a couple of tournaments and Gavaskar openly said and in fact wrote in his column that how dare does anyone make himself unavailable to play for India. He said you cannot dictate when you will play and when you won't play. Uh, critically, uh, Dhoni, uh, in that World Cup, there were a couple of matches where he wasn't really himself. He was criticized by none other than Sachin himself by saying that it's, it doesn't seem to be working out. Was he past his shelf life? That's for people to decide. He was always very, very good in the shorter format, not so much in tests, because in the shorter format, he could juggle quickly. He could set the field placings. and. Uh, he could he could think on his feet very quickly in in the large of test format there were many moments uh, when uh, things got out of his control he was criticized by senior players from the com box saying that he's either too defensive or he's leaving too large gaps doesn't know when to attack all those things were said and then his problem arose when he lost 4-0 to australia 4-0 to england 
and that virtually uh, led to his exit as test captain. So not everything was hunky-dory. With the media, he was always aloof. And uh, I remember there was a Hindi news channel, I won't name it, but um, in the earlier part of his career, or possibly midway through, there was a training session going on. They focused on his midriff and they made a, that red gola, red ring around it and said that he's developed a paunch and he's not fit. Obviously, Dhoni took that very badly and I'm told that for quite some time he refused to speak to that channel, blanked it out completely. But he went off the media. He wasn't really that friendly. He was monosyllabic. Um, there were times when there was this alleged match-fixing scandals happening in the IPL. After that, when they asked him, there was complete silence, radio silence from Dhoni. He wouldn't utter a word. What is Dhoni going to do now? He says he will not be in the com box because he doesn't want to criticize other players. I think that's a very good idea. That's a very interesting idea. He would probably go into organic farming or do something else that his heart desires. He's already a part of the territorial army and has spent time with them. So here's a man who tries to do something differently, doesn't want to jump into the com box like many others have done because that's not the only future that holds for Dhoni. He is known uh, for holding the cards very close to his chest. He is an astute businessman, has earned piles of money. So there are business enterprises being run in his name and uh, with his association, he's got a team working. His love for bikes, the Ducati Hayabusas and the cars like Hummers are very well known. But in the end, he came as an enigma and he goes as an enigma.